What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to go through an extension to the last YouTube ads video. I'm going to show you how to kind of refine. So I started off with the broad match trying to get a lot of views, trying to get a lot of social proof, hoping that my video was was good enough to capture the attention of people was entertaining enough. I know the value in the quality was there but on YouTube and online you gotta capture people's attention and get that long watch time because the long watch time is what is gonna get you organic rankings a lot of what YouTube ranks is not how many views you have it's more so you know is this video relevant to the search query and then is this video have a lot of watch time, have a lot of engagement, um, likes and comments, things like that. So you get the broad, you get the, um, like I showed in the other video, and I'm going to link to that video, and you get the social proof, um, and hopefully, you know, you got to make your video entertaining and to the point where you're getting, um, you know, good watch times on it, and you want to make it relatively long, uh, you know, 15 minutes at least, maybe if you can, make it like an hour long, or, lo or even longer. Um, so then the average watch time, you know, on like an hour might be, if you do a good video, like 10 minutes or 5 minutes or, or something like that. And anyways, um, the likes and dislikes will be a good uh, um, idea for you as well on that, um, whether you're targeting the right people. Because... My video is a good video. Like, I would want to watch my video had I just started doing local SEO. Um, but, you know, it might not be relevant to some people. And when you're advertising, you might be putting your video in front of people who might not necessarily have been searching for it. So, um, you get some, you know, people that are like, oh, you just took some time out of my day and... Um, you know, this video has value, but not necessarily to me. So, I'm going to go straight to this uh, local SEO USA only I set up. So, I had it globally before, just advertising to all countries. And then I targeted USA because I think this is particularly relevant to USA. The average view cost is six cents i think these views are gonna be more valuable for me um let's go straight in here uh let's go to settings oh i gotta go to campaign settings my bad okay settings Uh, so here's my budget. You know, I targeted only U.S. English, uh, one impression per day, um, optimized for views. So I just refined it to U.S. basically, so I can uh, get more views there. Now, there's another video I made. And it was a uh, OBS. Um, you know, I was showing people how to solve a problem with OBS, uh, an audio capture issue on Mac. And it was a very specific issue. You know, you don't, for example, you wouldn't want to just broad match target with that ad and just like show it to everyone. Um, even like you know, if even if it doesn't necessarily have social proof yet. Um, you wouldn't want to do that. You would want to only show it to people who are relevant. So what I did with that, I think this is interesting to show on this video. 
And earn views, let me just tell you, earn views, let's have YouTube describe it for you. An earn view occurs when someone who views your video ad and then watches another video or videos in a linked YouTube channel within seven days of the ad view. So basically, you've got them to click through to you know your channel or watch one of your other videos within seven days. So it's kind of like a conversion. Like that person now is saying, "Wow, I'm interested in what they're doing." You know, I might watch, uh, subscribe, watch more of their videos, um, whatnot. Anyways, uh, so. So let me show you what I did with that uh, ad group. Um, and then I'm going to go to settings, I think. No. Video targeting, sorry. So I usually exclude the older age groups, but I keep unknown because unknown could literally be anyone um, that you know hasn't set their age properly. Now you could just include all of them, and then look to where you're getting the best. Uh, so once you've collected data, then you could look to where you're getting the best results. But anyways, what I was trying to show you was placements. So I'm going to want to add placements for this video because it's a very specific video that only people who are searching for a solution for that particular problem need. So I'm just going to go to YouTube, another window, I'm just going to type OBS capture, uh, audio capture, or desktop audio capture not working or something like that and I'm literally just gonna take these because whoever's watching these videos uh, whoever's watching these videos are probably interested in solving their problem maybe this video didn't solve their problem um, Because mine is on a Mac, so maybe someone was like, oh man, he's not showing it on Mac. I, I remember a lot of people are telling you to download the... Uh, the 64-bit version, but that's not available for Mac. And this is just a guy showing that he has the issue. So this is optimal. You know, I think I actually left a comment here too. Alright, let's see. Maybe I didn't, but I should. I think I did, actually, but it's not showing up in the... Maybe it's down here. Yep, right here. I left a comment with, uh, with the link. So if you have one of these where you're just solving a specific problem, you know, you truly want to succeed. all these digital marketing people just, just coming out of nowhere. Anyways, so you would go through and do a bunch of these and, uh, what missing information? Oh, ad placements. Okay, so I added the placements. I would do more usually, but save. Now I can run this for a long time because it's so targeted. Like, I might get only a few more clicks per day, but these are all going to be super targeted clicks. They're not going to cost me very much, and they're going to have high conversion rates into subscribers. Um, so... And also they're just going to be happy that I didn't throw an ad in front of them that wasn't relevant to them. So that's that's a really good method. Like for particularly with 
when you're showing like specifically how to fix something with a software or something like that the the placements feature and you just place it on other YouTube videos where people are like I'm having this problem or here's one solution I found to this problem on Windows maybe it's not relevant you know or here's another solution um, you know a lot of times I'll have to look through two three videos at least to get the solution that's relevant to me you know maybe I made a video that somehow is easier or somehow um, more relevant to you know they had a Mac or whatever it was now they can find my video and I so I hope that in general this video is helpful for you in refining you know targeting after the broad match um, after the after you set up the broad match uh, account um, campaigns um, you stop those and you're gonna go for a longer period of time with targeted terms you still want to um, keep it like pretty broad because YouTube targeting basically doesn't run your ad if you do like really really specific things so that's why I you know usually use interests or topics on like my broader tutorials but on something that's just solving a problem then I'll do placements um, and yes, I hope that this video was helpful for you, and um, I hope that if you can apply some of these things and um, grow your channel, if that's what you desire to do, and have a, you know, have a great day, please comment, like, or subscribe, and if you would like to become a client, Please uh, contact me on my website, CameronParsinaJaw.com. It will be in the description. It will also be in my channel um, in the About section. Now, thanks for watching, and have a great day.